What is going on guys? It is Combacilia coming at you with another video and today this is my third try uh, recording this video. I'm currently at a at one of my students friends place. He has Wi-Fi so you know we're gonna go and record a video. So I just zated uh, Darth Nihilus. I actually zated him in the first video and I've been having a lot of uh, problems with actually uh, obtaining that footage. It just sort of disappears. Uh, so Isaiah did his wound in the forest, so basically what he's going to be doing is that uh, what he does is that he'll inflict damage over time on random enemies that doesn't have any debuffs and now whenever an enemy takes a turn they inf they basically debuff themselves, they'll be applying health down on them themselves which is very very useful against triple cleanse teams, teams that have um, a lot of tank tanky units in there, like units with a lot of health. Uh, with the large health pool it makes it so much easier so what we're going to do we're going to go into a dark side battle we're going to go in this dark side battle just because it's pretty easy we are now going to pick an ally uh, if we can actually see an ally we're going to use dilutes darth maul zeta we're not going to be using him as a leader we will be using him as a uh well just as a supporting character because his zeta is his unique not his leadership so, as you can see right there, uh, he, already got, he already put health down on himself, so now I can just take him out with shock, pretty practically. Uh, Darth Nihilus, I like him, he hits pretty hard, uh, especially for only having him at 4 stars. He is fantastic, I will show you his stats after this, but he, uh, basically his combined uh, health pool right now, like including his, like his basically combined health and protection right now is around, is over 50,000. Which is absolutely insane. Uh, well, it's just absolutely insane, even for a uh, four-star character such as uh, himself. That is not a tank, so that's pretty nice. Uh, he he also hits pretty hard, and also under his leadership, he does he does not crit, but he does uh, consistently do around uh, seven. I'm not exactly sure. I will show you an arena battle that I'll do after this, though. So we are going to flick days all around. Let's see if we can get an AoE stun, uh, increase cooldowns. I do an AoE. I will finish. I will finish uh, him off with a. I'll finish him off with overpower. And I'll start working on these other characters. This match is going to wrap up pretty easily. Uh, we're going to take out Chewy because he is the tankiest. He actually has a lot of health. I have done this uh, battle before. Uh, multiple times like even with health down as you can see these units are still taking a while to get through so you can just imagine that uh, how, how harder how much harder it would have been if I didn't have uh, his unique Zeta so we're gonna jump into a we're, we're gonna jump we're now going to jump into a arena battle and then we're going to jump into a another dark side battle so what we're going to do, we're going to go up against, do I want to go up against him? He, he this guy is a, he has really, really solid resistance squad. Okay, what we're going to do right now, we're just going to jump into a dark side battle so uh, you guys can use him as a, uh, so you can use him as a leader. Uh, we'll, we'll, you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll give, we'll take someone else. Okay, uh, we'll switch, we'll switch these two guys up. This should be a pretty quick battle. Should not tank long at all. Just get hit him with the AOEs. I uh, should have his. There we go. This should wrap up pretty quickly. It's mostly just so I can set him as my uh, character. So when you guys go into dark side battles, you can use him. You can try him out. See how you like him. He's pretty good. I know a lot of people that watch my videos probably. Um, may not be as far along in the game as I am so it will actually ooh I didn't realize how tanky that uh, ally I took in was but uh, he'll, he'll be very useful uh, for you he has a very very large health pool I have him gear 10 and I use him in arena and I just completed like a dark side 9 battle with him so he's pretty good also uh, showcase him in arena against we're gonna go up against a team that 
Actually, we're gonna go up against this uh, Jedi team. This is a Jedi team I sometimes have trouble against, just because they're so fast and they're rather tanky. But they cannot dispel uh, the health down, which is quite convenient. What am I doing? I did not mean to do that. So basically right here, what I have to do, I just have to play this out until uh, one of them comes out of stealth, and it's usually Qui-Gon because he's usually the fastest. Then I have to start working on him. Don't want to put him under 50% health though. Uh, the reason being is because I don't want Anakin to uh, get, get that damage and turn meter boost. So, sort of ironic how I just said that, and I did exactly what I said I didn't want to do. Okay, we're this is actually this is actually pretty bad. This is a bad situation. Um, we're gonna have to take Qui Gon out. Okay, this is this is gonna be that situation where okay, never mind. Okay, if Zeta Savage can no, he's not gonna be able to finish this. They're just gonna they're just gonna finish him up very quickly. This is a team I have a lot of trouble against, just because they're so fast. They're so much faster than my team. And my teams are running around like 170 speed. That team is running around 240. So we're actually gonna go up against a team that I, I'm a little more comfortable going up against. So we're just gonna go up against Emco. The nice thing about uh, the health down is that it can't be resisted. So no matter what, it's going. Right now, we just have to wait for our Rex to go off, and then this is basically GG. Again, LE stun if we can. Fortunately, we couldn't. Okay, so now Finn has taunt. I'm gonna use Kylo's AOE. Dispel that. Take out Poe. We now want to work on where's the uh, okay we're gonna work on Ray just because she's the hardest hitter that they have right now now we're gonna work on resistance trooper because we don't want to keep getting hit with those exposes uh, Rex we're, what we're doing is that we're just constantly uh, using his dispel well not his dispel basically so we can so we can get tenacity up so they're not going to be exposing us which is the strength of resistance teams, is their ability to constantly expose uh, the enemy. So, as you can see, it works out pretty well. It makes it makes so much easier to get through uh, teams, or just every team in general. Uh, so this is going to be the end of the video. It's going to be a short one. I hope, you, I hope this uh, video was somewhat informative. Uh, I'll, so this is Combacilia signing off. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and as always, I will talk to you guys in the next video.